fixed costs. They're the silent partners in your business, sitting in the background, often overlooked but always present. You might not see them every day, but they're there, shaping your financial landscape and influencing your decisions. So, what exactly are fixed costs and why should you care? Let's dive into this essential topic that every accounting professional and business owner needs to understand. First off, let's define fixed costs. Simply put, fixed costs are expenses that remain constant regardless of how much you produce or sell. Think of them as the foundational expenses that keep your business running, no matter what. Whether you're selling a hundred products or a thousand, these costs don't budge. They're like your monthly rent or the salaries you pay your employees. Even if your sales plummet, those bills keep coming in. Now, you might be wondering, why are fixed costs important? Well, understanding fixed costs is crucial for budgeting and assessing the financial health of your business. They represent a significant portion of your total expenses, and knowing how to manage them can mean the difference between profitability and loss. If you're setting prices for your products or services, you need to factor in your fixed costs to ensure you're covering all your bases and making a profit. Let's break down some characteristics of fixed costs. The most notable one is that they're unaffected by production volume. For instance, if you run a manufacturing company and your electricity bill is 10000 that amount stays the same whether you produce 10,000 units or 20,000. This is why they're often referred to as sunk costs, expenses that are unavoidable in the short run. Another key point is that fixed costs are incurred regardless of how much you produce. Take rent, for instance. You've got to pay that monthly rent whether you're producing 10 products or 10,000. This makes it easier for you to calculate your fixed costs since the total amount doesn't change over a specific period. Additionally, fixed costs have no direct correlation with sales. You might sell more products, but your rent, salaries, and insurance payments stay the same. This stability can be a double-edged sword. While it provides predictability during low sales periods, it can also become a burden if your sales decline significantly. Now, let's talk about some common examples of fixed costs. Rent and leases are probably the most significant fixed costs for many businesses. Whether it's office space, equipment, or vehicles, these expenses remain constant. Then there are utilities and insurance. While some utility costs can fluctuate, certain aspects, like insurance premiums, are fixed. Salaries and benefits also fall under fixed costs. Employees are typically paid a set salary regardless of how much work they produce in a given month. Property taxes, depreciation, and interest expenses are other examples that can weigh heavily on your bottom line. So how do you calculate fixed costs? It starts with compiling all your expenses. Make a list of everything your business spends money on and then categorize them into fixed and variable costs. This can be a bit tricky, especially since some costs may not fit neatly into one category. Once you have your list, you'll want to determine which costs are fixed. This requires a keen eye for detail. Look for expenses that don't change based on production levels and separate them from variable costs, which fluctuate with your output. After determining your total fixed costs, you can calculate your fixed cost per unit. This is a crucial step in understanding how your fixed costs relate to individual products. It helps you see what you need to sell to cover those costs and start making a profit. Now, let's address some common misconceptions about fixed costs. One prevalent myth is that fixed costs are permanently fixed. While they may remain constant over a specific period, they can change due to inflation, lease renegotiations, or unexpected expenses. It's essential to keep an eye on these costs and be prepared for adjustments. Another misconception is that fixed costs are irrelevant to decision-making. In reality, they play a critical role in determining your break-even point and profitability. If you have high fixed costs, you'll need to generate more revenue to cover them. Understanding these costs is vital for pricing strategies and investment decisions. Some people also mistakenly believe that all fixed costs are sunk costs. While some fixed costs may be sunk, 
They can also be incremental costs tied to new projects or product lines. For example, investing in a new production facility may come with high fixed costs, but it can lead to increased revenue if managed correctly. It's also worth noting that while fixed costs don't directly change with production volume, they can still affect your profitability. If you increase production to the point of needing more employees or equipment, you may incur additional fixed costs that impact your bottom line. Now, let's consider how fixed expenses affect businesses and individuals. Fixed expenses can significantly impact a business's profitability. If sales decline, those fixed expenses remain the same, which can quickly erode profits. Cash flow management becomes crucial here. High fixed costs can lead to cash flow constraints, forcing businesses to dip into reserves or take on debt. Additionally, fixed expenses can serve as leverage in negotiations with suppliers. However, locking into long-term contracts without proper negotiation can lead to financial strain. Fixed costs can also aid in financial planning and budgeting. Since these costs are known and unchanging, businesses can determine the minimum sales volume required to cover them. This clarity can facilitate better financial planning and decision-making. So how can you use fixed cost analysis to make better business decisions? Start by identifying your fixed costs, then calculate your break-even point, the level of sales needed to cover those costs. Analyzing cost-volume-profit relationships can also provide valuable insights into how changes in sales volume, price, and costs affect your profits. Evaluating capital investment decisions is another critical aspect. Before making significant investments, use fixed cost analysis to understand the associated fixed cost and potential returns. This ensures you make informed decisions that maximize profitability and minimize risk. However, it's essential to recognize the limitations of fixed costs. They're rigid and can't be easily adjusted, which can be problematic during unexpected changes in demand. Fixed costs also don't account for potential losses, and they don't incentivize cost reduction. If you find your fixed cost increasing, it's vital to take action. Start by identifying the cause of the increase. Review your finances to understand the impact and look for ways to reduce expenses. Adjust your budget accordingly and consider alternative sources of capital if necessary. Effectively managing fixed costs can lead to improved financial stability and enhanced profitability. By reducing unnecessary expenses, you can free up cash for growth opportunities and prepare for unexpected challenges. Finally, let's touch on some common mistakes businesses make when calculating their fixed costs. One of the biggest errors is confusing fixed costs with variable costs. It's crucial to distinguish between the two to avoid underestimating your expenses. Another common pitfall is failing to include all fixed costs in your analysis. Make sure to consider both direct and indirect fixed costs to get an accurate picture. Miscalculating depreciation can also lead to significant errors, as can neglecting the influence of time on fixed costs. In conclusion, fixed costs are a fundamental aspect of any business's financial structure. They're essential for budgeting, pricing decisions, and overall profitability. By understanding fixed costs and how they operate, you can make informed decisions that drive your business forward. Remember, while they may seem like a burden at times, effectively managing fixed costs can unlock opportunities for growth and success. So take the time to analyze your fixed costs, and you'll be better equipped to navigate the complexities of running a business.